Hey, so I started filming outside and it started pouring raining. I was gonna wrap it up and film another time, but as I was laying here, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna film here and I'm gonna try filming vertical for once. Let me know if you like this style. As we are arriving, as we are stepping into spring, I wanted to share some of my spring favorites. And honestly, all of these things are kind of my favorites year round, but for just for the sake of this video, we're just gonna say for, for spring. So we're gonna start off with dresses. I love how it literally takes a minimal amount of effort to put on a dress and match some shoes, maybe put on some accessories, but it looks like you're putting in the most amount of effort when you're wearing a dress. With pants, I gotta find a shirt that goes with it. And every 30 days, I gotta worry about if it's falling off or if they no longer fit me because my weight is fluctuating in the midst of my weight loss journey. So dresses really do be coming into clutch because as my weight is fluctuating, the dresses always fit me. I'm often thrown off guard when people point out how put together I look, how dressed up I am, when I'm wearing a dress because it feels like I'm wearing a nightgown. It feels like I'm just wearing the most comfiest thing on in the world. So I'll forget that I'm wearing a nice dress and that it looks like I'm like going on a date and stuff. There's just something specifically about knee-high leather boots. They just look, they just, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know. If you know, you know. I feel like any pair of knee-high boots can turn an outfit from being a five and looking basic to being like a nine and looking like you're making a fashion statement. The other day I put on some pants, I had on a nice shirt and it was okay. It was, it was an outfit. But once I put on the knee-high boots, it was giving cunts as the kids like to call it these days. It just has a certain je ne sais quoi. Press, 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 press. I love press on nails. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a minute to get down the technique of doing my own nails, but once I did, like it literally only took me like about a month or so, a couple of weeks, and I learned how to keep these on for over two weeks. Like it's just saving, not only saving so much money, but it's just so convenient. If a nail breaks, you don't even have to worry about scheduling another appointment, waiting to get that nail fixed, having to take time out of your day to sit down and get someone to fix one nail that broke. You can just fix it on the go. Like if a nail breaks on the go, I'm just like, boop, boop, boop. I just glue it right back on and it's just back to business. I carry around my makeup like the essentials, like my eyebrow pencil, the lipstick I'm wearing, and I usually carry around a polish that I'm wearing if I happen to paint the press-ons. These are painted. I painted these with a nail polish that I got from my sister's cosmetologist store. You know, she got the hookup because it was like you had to have a license to use this polishes, and they really do come through. So if you have a friend who's in beauty, that's where the real nice polishes are. Um, I used to do gel but then I developed a gel allergy because when it touches your skin, each time it touches your skin is giving you a greater risk of having a gel allergy. And once you have a gel allergy, you'll have that allergy forever. There's no going back. So I literally cannot have gel on my nails for the rest of my life. <laughs> I can't go to the salon and get gel anymore because I was doing gel on my own nails and I would often paint over my nail bed when I first started my journey. <laughs> doing my own nails so beware of that if you want to play around with gel you got to really be careful it's always better to underpaint than to overpaint especially if you're new a lot of press-ons that i get are from amazon i get like all of my press-ons on amazon and i have all my favorite press-ons in my amazon storefront that's always linked in the description below and another secret i literally never told anybody this like i'm planning on putting this inside another video but i'm gonna put you on now for those of you who are real ones that watch all my videos you can get the tea now etsy etsy Look up press on nails on Etsy for me. Yeah. Mm, you're welcome. <laughs> There's just something about wearing pink, like a pink shade that flatters your skin tone that just makes you look immaculate. The same applies to the colors red, black, white. Um, depending on your undertone, it might be more like ivory, but red, pink, white, black, those colors just do something. I discussed this in my Enchanted Keys to Leveling Up ebook that's available to my Patreon members. I'm considering publishing it to the public, like on Amazon, but right now it's just a little secret between me and my Patreon. Every time I wear these colors, oh my gosh, it looks like my whole freaking shot is my titties, but I promise you <laughs> they're just humongous. Some dresses are see-through as and I didn't sign up for that. So I recently got myself like a silk black dress to put underneath all my dresses, even if they're slightly see-through. And it's just nice having that confidence that no one can see through my dress by having like a black silk dress for those dresses that may be a little bit see-through.
I just started using blush recently and it brings a lot of youth and life to your face. And there's different techniques to do it based on your face shape. So for me, because I'm a heart shaped and I do have a baby face, I it's weird because I didn't even look this up. I started doing it and then I saw a video and it was like, do it this way if your face looks like this. And I ironically was already doing it. But for my face, I put blush like here, here and on my nose. Um, for some faces, it's better to put them like on a peak right here sometimes even like below so really make sure you know your face shape so you can know what things look the best on you because through just seeing a certain makeup look and wanting to copy and paste it maybe make you look crazy and <laughs> that's something i had to learn the hard way i used to get the full-size perfume bottles and i still do for my favorite perfumes like see by armani and chanel 05 the powdery smelling one i can never get enough of that so i have that in a full bottle size but as far as experimenting what onto perfume figuring out your signature scent i would highly suggest trying out oils because oils actually last longer and they're really affordable like 15 to 30 dollars and something i noticed the site that i went to i'll link it down below is they had some perfumes that were sold out i have a melody martinez stan and i really wanted to try that milk perfume but by the time i was ready to get it it was gone it was sold out and it just never came back but they have the oil version of the crybaby's milk perfume that melanie martinez created on that site i literally cannot get enough of it and it pairs so well with chanel 05 i will spray some chanel 05 put some crybaby's milk oil on my wrist and i swear it smells like heaven and i love how convenient and portable oils are because who wants to carry a full size like 200 bottled perfume with them everywhere there are so many kinds of claw clips and it's such a fun effortless way to accessorize my go-to lazy girl hairstyle with my natural hair is claw clipping it i will moisturize it and claw clip it i will sometimes even claw clip two claw clips to form like a kind of two bun look and even with my wig i will claw clip it i'll pin it back some and claw clip it have like a pearl claw clip or like a bow ribbon claw clip in the back and it just adds a little genesis quad to an outfit and i can't get enough of them I literally just started wearing them again. I haven't worn skirts since I was like a kid. And I just recently, I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing like a fairy like nymph looking black skirt. I got thrifting and I got this black skirt from Amazon. I bought this really nice floral skirt and I really like them. It really embodies my style. It embodies femininity and they're comfy. It feels like I'm wearing nothing, um, which I guess don't get if you don't want to feel like that when you're out but i don't know why i haven't started wearing them sooner i guess because i was trying to hide my fat ass stomach as we're in spring it's still cold but it's starting to get hot it's starting to get a little warm and the best thing and the best the best vibe is an off the shoulder sweater or an off the just an off the shoulder top an off the shoulder long sleeve shirt i can't get enough of it i literally i am collecting them like a collector <laughs> I freaking love. Oh my gosh, it's a.